Welcome back to another video, and it's another front crawl video. Uh, we're gonna take a look at this uh, guy swimming uh, his front crawl, me for the first time, and I'm gonna give you my feedback. Let's take a look. Interesting stuff. Okay, so let's break it down. Uh, what we just saw here. Okay, so first off, first off the bat, he's got the right gear. Okay, he's got good goggles, good swim cap, good jammers. Check uh, his flutter kick. It's pretty good. You can see some uh, consistent white water, which is a good sign. Uh, if you don't see white water, that means you're kicking way too below the water, which is a bad sign because it's like kicking in quicksand. Good, he's doing uh, three arms to one breath. Uh, I mentioned this in the previous video. Uh, if you're training for long distance, which is like more than two or three laps, uh, you want to incorporate odd arms, okay? Odd number of arms, so that means three, five or seven arms per breath because we want to breathe on both sides uh, so we don't cause any imbalance okay a lot of you guys were doing even number of strokes so two arms per breath and you're just leaning to one side and that's going to develop an imbalance over time okay so that's good yeah nice flip turn what do you notice what's the first feeling that you get when you see him doing his front crawl I mean, from my point of view, he's not going so fast. He's doing the arms, he's doing the kicking, he's doing the breathing. But for some strange reason, he's just not moving fast in the water. And there's two reasons. One is that he's crossing his arms. Okay? So when you're pulling with your arms, with front crawl, imagine that you are on a boat or a kayak, or one of those paddle boards, okay? You're standing on a boat or something, right, that's in the middle. You don't want to cross that middle part, okay? So if I'm rowing a boat, I'm rowing on either side of the boat. I'm not crossing my strokes like this with my paddle, because that would be hitting the board or the boat itself, all right? so. When we row our boat, we row on one side, and then we row on the other. And in front crawl's case, we row like this. We never cross our arms. We never do this. We call it X pulling. Because it's just not efficient, first of all. It's not efficient because if we start pulling this way and this way, our boat is going to be going zigzagging like this in the water and we don't want that do you want to zigzag in the water no you want to go from A to B in the least amount of effort possible pulling straight parallel arms 11's pulling like this okay same thing with butterfly we don't want to pull butterfly like this we don't want to pull breaststroke like this no always straight 11's okay one two okay so keep that in mind that's the first thing he needs to work on Flip turns, uh, my, my take on flip turns is, if you have a lane to yourself, yeah, go for it. Um, is it more efficient than, say, grabbing the wall, the Spider-Man push-off that you see uh, other swimmers do? I don't know, to each his own, okay? If you uh, practice enough over time, it is more efficient because your body's in the water more when you're doing the flip turn, right? It's more efficient. But for, yeah, for him, yeah, he just needs to practice more, more of that flip turn, that speed. And this, this is the problem though, he doesn't have the speed yet. He's still working on it, right? And we fix that first problem, right? His X pulls. The second problem, 
Okay, I see this time and time again. You probably can't see it, but I can. Right? The problem... What's slowing him down is his re-entry back into the water. Okay, so I explained this in a previous video. When you enter back into the water, you want to cut into the water, slice the water. Weave like you're sewing a needle in a piece of fabric and then pull, right? So you want to cut, cut. What he's doing is like, if this is the water, he's doing this. He's, he's gently placing his front arm on top of the water and then pulling. Slowly placing his hand gently on top of the water and then pulling. This movement here is like slamming on the brakes every time when you're trying to drive fast in a drag race, okay? This is what's slowing him down. This is very common, okay? And there's another problem to doing this, this method, okay? You notice that you can't see it, but the more air time you have, your arm has, out of the water, the more problems it's going to slow you down. Is what I have to say. It's kind of like carrying a giant flag attached to the roof of your car. I don't know if you've done this before, but just try to imagine. Picture a flag attached to the top of your car. You notice that if you try to drag race, <laughs> it's not gonna, your car's not gonna fly. Whereas if you got rid of that flag pole altogether, you would fly, all right? I know it sounds silly, but this is, this is common in a lot of people's front crawl. What they do is they delay their arms out of the water for such a long time that it slows their whole front crawl all together. They do their front crawl. Their, their arm is out of the water and they slowly raise it up in the air like a flagpole and then they slowly bring it down gently like he's doing and they place their arm on top of the surface of the water like they're landing an airplane on a runway. That's not what you're supposed to do, okay? The more you delay this part of the arm movement, you're gonna, it's like slamming on the brakes of your car, okay? That's why he's going slow. What you wanna do instead is minimize the amount of time your hand is out of the water, okay? The way we do that, or the way I do it, is just I imagine like I'm harpooning the water. Okay, so my hand is out of the water, quickly back in, quickly back in, okay, boom, quickly back in, Pull up. quickly back in. So I spear the water, I slice the water, I harpoon the water, whatever way you want to call this, boom, slice into the water, all right? And when you slice, you want to pull or you want to reach as far forward as possible. You want to stretch your body, just like, so what he's doing was like this, right? X pull, he was doing this. Uh, place my hand onto the water, pull. That's what he was doing. But what he should be doing is slicing into the water and then reach as far forward as possible. And you notice that his body is kind of like ugh, compressed. He should be stretching his body a little bit more. That's what you, you're not seeing. That, little, that stretching movement that you do, when you stretch forward, is going to, boom, accelerate you forwards more and keep that, that speed up. All right? So, to recap, no X pulling, no X pulling, straight pulling. Okay? When your hand is out of the water, you put it back in as quick as possible. Okay? You spear that water. Okay? Slice it. You don't... Gently land your hand onto the surface of water. No, you slice underneath the water. And then the final part is you reach. 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 Okay? You should see the inside of your elbow. This part right here. Clearly in front of you as you do it. Okay? Like I, like I can see right now. I can see this part clearly in front of me. Alright? And it will make... A world of difference if you incorporate that. And that's that's all he, this guy has to do. So, yeah, join our Facebook group. Post your footage of your swimming in there. And I'll give you feedback for free. 
And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say for now. So thanks for watching. My name is Justin. Take care. Bye bye.